I've absolutely loved working on Hollywood. Um, we've got a very supportive team um, to work with. Staff, everything are brilliant. I've been supported all the way through. We've been here a couple of days, really good. I mean, the nurses are more than happy to help. Um, Nina, especially, the person that's been looking after my daughter. Very personable, very accommodating. Couldn't do enough to make sure my daughter's comfortable, relaxed, and with, for the parents as well, myself and my wife have been here. They've been very accommodating. Really good experience. Yeah, I, I think the trust that I work for, CCS, is very innovative and forward-thinking in what it does. I'm part of a pilot called the Rapid Response Team, and our job is to, is to keep people out of hospital, and that, tr that, in, that pilot is only in East Cambridgeshire. So I'm really, really proud and, and, and really happy to be part of that because I feel we're at the forefront of, of keeping people at home. So the Trust has helped me further my career by doing a, um, a degree, which um, I did in 2006 and 2007. That was a degree in district nursing and that really helped me in my district nurse um, manager's job. And I've since just completed a, a, a module in clinical assessment at master's level. And that's been really beneficial because it's helped me go out and work independently seeing patients doing respiratory examinations, cardiac examinations, abdo examinations and it means I can feed that back to the GP my findings and hopefully that supports them to make their decision as well um, and I was supported really well in doing those courses both by the university but also by senior clinicians within the trust so that's been really really beneficial. Especially with the multidisciplinary team meeting we're all in the room together um, physios and OTs speech and language therapist, dietitians, social worker, doctor and consultant and the nurse and, then, and the social worker and we all discuss together about the individual patient and where they're going. And I just get joy out of seeing people getting better, you know, so we may have patients that can hardly walk when they come in and then we get them with the physios and the OTs, we get them more mobile and you see them get better in themselves and they're a lot happier and then when they go home and then sometimes when they come back to see you they, it just gives you a sense of joy really to see them better because sometimes you don't see that that's going to happen you, you look at them and you think don't know whether that's going to happen but then when it does it really gives you some job satisfaction really I, I guess the initial thing that we do is make assessments of the patients when they first come onto the ward so we will go um, ask them questions all about their home situations, what they were doing before, ascertain what they're doing now and then work out what the barriers are so that we need to know what we can work on to help them achieve their goals in getting home again. So we try and encourage patients to do as much as they can for themselves here and we try and encourage the nursing staff and everybody else on the ward to do that as well. well I just love um, the rehab environment because it's really nice to see the patients coming with their difficulties, work out what their goals are with them but actually in this environment you actually have the time to achieve them. Unlike kind of the acute trust for example, you might only spend like a few minutes a day with a patient if you're lucky, sometimes it's only two or three times a week. Whereas here you can actually have some real quality time with the patients and really try and focus on the specific things, you know, the specific barriers to why they're not achieving their goals and kind of address them. So you, I think it's the time more and then actually seeing the patients achieve and go home safely, you know, yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> My role as an intermediate care nurse is to assess patients in their own home, usually f uh, following a referral from a GP. A uh, patient may have a chest infection or urine infection and the aim is to keep them out of hospital, hospital avoidance with a view to getting them back to their previous level of independence. The thing I find um, rewarding about working in the community is you're able to see the patient um, as a whole person and not just a condition. You're invited as a guest into their own home and that gives it quite a relaxing atmosphere even though the patient might be ill at the time. You get to see their whole family and how they're involved in their day-to-day -day living because you sort of see the patient for, it can be for a couple of days or up to six weeks, you build up a rapport with them and hopefully you, you do see an improvement 
in their condition and a return to their previous level of independence and you feel that you actually do make a difference. Um, basically community services is, is being in the community at the forefront of, of healthcare. I think, the, I think for me the buzzword is keeping people at home as, as much as possible because hopefully they'll thrive better at home rather than being in hospital. So it's basically supporting them with lots of different professions going in and working together and communicating together. I definitely would recommend to, to people to work for um, Cambridgeshire Community Services NHS Trust. Mm -hmm.